Good morning and welcome back. It is 22 minutes past the hour and it is now time for KITV4 Social Wire. Apple unveiled its latest advances in iPhones and iPads yesterday at the company's Worldwide Developers Conference in California. And Yasmin Dar is here to break down the new features that you can expect later this year. Yasmin, good morning. Hey, good morning, Kenny. Well, the new iOS 5 update is here. And for those of you who have no idea what that means, well, basically, there's a new update for the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch users. Here's a breakdown on some of the big changes that you can expect. A new notification center will aggregate all your notifications into one and is accessible by swiping down a menu from the top of the screen and will also be shown on your lock screen. Yes, just like the Android. Twitter integration will also allow users to sign into their Twitter accounts just once and allow multiple apps to access those credentials, including your camera and photo apps. One of my favorite upgrades will be the ability to use your volume up button as a camera button. When you are in your camera app, pinch to zoom is said to be available right in the app and some new in-devices editing options have also been added. Another huge update includes users being able to activate a new iOS which can be done right in the device itself and syncing will also be wireless too. iMessage which is a kind of a BBM will also be a feature available exclusively for iOS users. And the biggest innovation is how the iCloud will stream music, photos, videos and much more right into your device over the internet. The upgrade won't be available until the fall. Let us know your favorite features of the new operating system. You can write on our wall or you can tweet me at Yasmin Dar. That's a look at what's buzzing on KITV4 Social Wire. So Yasmin, do you know what versions of the iPhones or iPads of these are updates apply to? Well, according to our producer Clay, he said that the versions will be available for the iPad 1 and 2, including for the third generation and fourth generation iPod touches and iPhones. All right, Yasmin, okay. it is 524 right now. It is time for traffic and weather on the fours. Uh, how's the commute looking right now? Hey, Kenny. Well, traffic right now, it's looking pretty decent to start out from East Oahu. You can see those green arrows continuous all the way out to Kalani on Ole Highway, which is where we're going to take you right now on our city and county traffic camera.